I should give you guys the correct solution. So before I jump ahead, let me just uh, go ahead and do that and then show you what happens and then uh, I'll correct it on, on video. So let's set the position, absolute, and we'll do bottom zero, left zero, and we'll, because it's position absolute this time, we actually have to give it a, a width because it has no contents. Save that out, refresh it, and uh, this is what we get. Okay, so let's leave that for now, and um, I'm going to go back in here in a Photoshop, and I'm going to uh, cut out what we need to create this white portion. So again, I'm going to hide everything we don't need. Oops. Oops. Okay. Sorry, hide everything that we don't need. And then what I'm going to do is, um, you'll notice that this layer actually has some effects attached to it, which we set via blending options. If we were to just go ahead and crop this, these effects would actually kind of be cropped out. Um, when we crop, normally it snaps to the edge of your, uh, of your shape, but the shadow here, or this, gla this glow, sorry, that we set, isn't actually part of that shape. So when we snap, we're not snap snapping to um, a size that's gonna to a size that's gonna accommodate that glow. So there's a way to get around that, which is just to create a new blank layer. Click down here, select uh, the white box, and then merge it. So you just get a layer, uh, merge visible. Sorry, not merge visible. I select these, get a layer. Uh, let me un undo that. Okay. Sorry, I just unmasked it, and then I'm going to go merge layers. Okay. So now that we, ha we have that done, um, you'll, you'll notice now that when we go to snap this, it's actually going to snap uh, a little bit to the right of the box, and that's because it's, it's snapping correctly to the shadow now, um, and that's what we want. So just make sure it's doing that on both sides, and then uh, we want it to give it, we want to give it about a height of a, uh, one pixel. So let me actually delete all these other layers that we don't need. If you don't delete these other layers, sometimes they can interfere with your selection a little bit. So it's going to delete everything that we don't need um, so that we're sure that it's snapping correctly. I'm just going to double check that it's snapping. Okay, well, it looks all right. Um, let me create a white layer in the back just to check. See if I can still see the shadow. Okay. So the shadow is definitely there, and it looks about, um, looks like it's cropped, right? So let's go ahead and uh, make this one pixel high and then save it. So I'm just going to go ahead and go to image size and turn off constraint proportions and set the height to one pixel. And it's going to make this entire thing, you know, one pixel tall and keep the width correct. And then uh, I'm just going to save it out. So I'm just going to save for the web again. Save. And let's call it, um, I don't know, you know, content, content background. Sure. Okay. Then back in our HTML, let's go ahead and create a content area. Okay, and let's go ahead and uh, apply that background image to it. Oops. And we're going to do repeat Y this time. Uh, so it repeats vertically. And we're going to set this to content background. And uh, I'm going to give this the width of the image that we have here, which is 10, 14 pixels. And I'm going to give it a height. Actually, I'm not going to give it a height. I'm going to give it a minimum height. 
of, uh, let's say, 600 pixels. And what a minimum height does is it, well, it does what it sounds like. It's going to make sure that this div is at least 600 pixels tall. Okay, so we save that out. Um, let's refresh and see what happens. Okay, so we have our white box that we added. And it looks like it's shown correct, correctly, but uh, just a little bit of um, not exactly how we want it. The image shouldn't be on the left of the page. It should be centered in the middle. So I'm going to show you guys how to center it in the middle. Um, and what you can do is just in the body, you can set it to text align center. And we're going to set the margins of content to uh, zero and auto. So there's no margin on the top, but there's auto margins on the left and right. And that basically lets the browser know um, that it can set the margin to whatever it needs to to center our content div. And um, I'm going to do one more thing, which is to do a body div text align left. And basically the reason why I'm doing this is because when we set text align center, any text that we now write inside the body or even this content div is going to be aligned to the middle. And we don't want that. We only want um, text align center for the purposes of setting this content div. And we want you know the text to behave normal. And normal is to you know rail to the left, basically. So I'm just um, negate, negating the, these effects, or this effect here, uh, by writing this line of code here. Okay, so let's go back in here, refresh the page, and see what happens. Okay, so the white box is definitely um, showing now. Let's go ahead and uh, fix this overlapping. We actually want the white box slightly on top of this uh, yellow and red box. So I'm going to give it a position relative, and I'm going to set the z-index on it. And I think any z-index should work. I'm just going to give it a z-index of 2. And let's refresh the page. And there you go. The white box is now on top of the red. Um, and now I can show you guys kind of what I meant um, of why we didn't want to set the position absolute and then bottom 0 for the red box. And the reason the reasoning behind that is basically, you know, if we resize this page like I'm doing now, you'll see that the red and yellow box stay in the bottom right or sorry the bottom of my screen but that's not what we want we want it to stay more or less always in um, a position relative to this white box here just like that and regardless of you know and if we size it we want just the window to shrink and um, scroll scroll bars to appear so uh, let's go back and fix that so we're not gonna we're not gonna set position absolute here, so we can remove that stuff. And if we refresh the page, um, we'll notice that this is more or less um, more or less correct, right? This is what what we basically want. Okay. So, you know. It's always in some proportion to this white box, and it's stuck. Um, and we have to fix this the fact that um, the white box is no longer overlapping the yellow and, and red box. And the way that we can do that is um, just recreate part of the white box in here. So let's go ahead and create div uh, id equals footer content. Okay. Div. And we're going to use a yellow bar in here also. So let's just copy and paste that in here now. And inside styles, we'll go ahead and do footer content. And uh, we'll use this same background image setting. And uh, actually, in content, we no longer need Z-index. And then, and then uh, we will give it a width. Uh, 10 to 14 pixels also and let's just give it a height of 100 pixels okay and for the yellow bar oh let me refresh the page and show you what's gonna happen first okay so um, same thing 
we want this white box uh, to be in the middle and uh, in this case actually we don't want it to interact with this yellow bar that was originally there so we want to remove it from the document flow so if we just wanted to center it you know in footer I could give it a text align center property and then in the footer content I could give it margin zero auto again but that's not going to remove it from the document flow so we need to find a different way of centering this so I'm going to delete this um, and the way you can center it is just to use positioning actually and we do position absolute it's going to remove it from the document flow we're going to give it top zero and we're going to give it left 50 percent okay and uh, of course whenever whenever we're doing positioning we need to set position you know relative on the parent so I refresh the page I'm going to show you guys what happens and you can see that uh, the yellow bar or this white box has been removed from the document flow so this yellow bar is appearing where it should be now but when we set 50 percent what it's doing is it's setting the left corner of this uh, white box the 50 percent of our page width and that's you know not exactly what we want either we want it to really be aligned with this box here. So we want the middle of our white box to be in the middle of the page, to be left 50%. So the way we fix that is back in here, we actually we can actually do a little bit of a hack with margins. And we can do margin left, and then give it a negative value. So let's give it 507 pixels. And I'm using 507 because the total width of the box is 1014 pixels. And I want to shift it over by basically half its width. Um, so the distance here and here is half the width. So if I save that, come back in here and refresh, we'll see that it's basically doing what we want. Okay. So back in here, um, I'm going to actually make the height of this a little bit taller. So I'm going to give it a height of uh, maybe you know 180 pixels. And then we want the yellow bar inside of this box to um, appear offset from the yellow bar behind it, just like this. We want it a little bit lower. So I'm going to uh, just do that via CSS. Let's do footer content, yellow bar. So I'm doing descendant selecting. And I'm going to give it a margin top of, you know, 20 pixels or so. Okay, so I'm going to save that, refresh, and we'll see that it's now offset a little bit. Um, this isn't exactly what we want either. It's close, but we actually want um, just the yellow bar to end uh, when you know it hits hits the side of this white box. And the reason right now that it's extending off is because our image, um, if you remember, is that also um, sorry is also taking into account. The, the shadow that, that's on the sides of the box. So, you know, the white portion is actually a little bit less than, um, than you know, the image size. So we got to take that into account. Um, so let's go ahead and try and find out exactly, um, exactly how wide the white portion of our box is and how much is the shadow. So I'm going to go back in here. I'm going to crop out just the shadow portion and then that way, that way, I can, you know, check the width of it. And it's 7 pixels. So we'll go back in here. And for this yellow bar, we're just going to give it a width of, um, you know, 1,014 minus 2 times 7. So 1,000 pixels. And to, posi to position it correctly, I'm going to give it a position relative. I'm going to give it a left value of 7 pixels. Okay. So we go back in here, refresh the page we'll see that um, that's exactly what we want. Okay. All right, so now let's go ahead and create this. Whoops. I'm going to go ahead and revert all our cropping. Let's go ahead and create this uh, red bar at the top. Okay. So again, let's go ahead and just hide everything that's not part of that red bar. like that. 